This video is to demonstrate my function generator that I built for my analog electronics class. As you can see, it has lots of cool little dials and knobs in it. Uh, one power switch that allows it to connect to AC power. There's a 30 volt, 15 watt transformer on the inside, along with some voltage regulators and things to produce the power. Um, course frequency is adjusted by this knob. This is a two-deck, six-position switch that allows you to change orders of magnitude of the frequency. So you can probably hear that by now. I'm not sure what the frequency response of this camera is. But, um, and then the fine frequency can be adjusted by this potentiometer. The form of the wave can be adjusted by this switch. Uh, it's pretty blurry, but it says square, triangle, and sine. And you can hear the difference between those. So there's triangle and square. This switch is to adjust the offset. Actually, I can show you that here with this oscilloscope. I designed these banana plugs. Well, I didn't design the banana plugs, but I put them in there. So that's kind of nifty, and so here's the output, I turn off the speaker. Uh, here's the oscilloscope output, so that's a sine wave, I'm going to put it on square wave. And then I'm going to adjust this zero point, and that's by setting this switch to adjust, and then I can adjust the zero with this knob. By adjusting that knob, I can set the offset. Um, as you can see, there are some little pings at the onset of the square wave, and actually the same thing happens with the triangle and the, and the sine wave. That's something that I still need to fix. I think that has something to do with the value of the potentiometer here. It's interfering with the operation of the op amp, so I need to fix that. And then you can set it to zero with that switch. Then there's also an order of magnitude switch here, so I can switch between 1x and 10x by switching that. I increase the order of magnitude by 10 times. So there's 1x, that's 1 volt magnitude, and 10 volt magnitude. Amplitude, I should be saying. So, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got this all on a PCB on the inside there. I had that etched in the photolithography lab in the student shop here at the University of Oregon. Uh, oh yeah, and then one more thing. This is the high impedance output. That connects directly to an op amp. And this is the low impedance output. This connects to a transistor push-pull amplifier. So I can actually use that to, draw, to drive um, some kind of external source without any other amplification. And that's what drives the speaker too. Um, something kind of weird happens when you use the speaker, though. Oh, that actually looks a lot better than it was the other day. I wonder what happened. Before it had this uh, really strange 300 or a 3 megahertz noise. But it's not doing it right now for some reason. Ah, there it is. So, if I zoom in here... Yeah, this is being produced by the feedback of the speaker, and that's about 3 megahertz. And as soon as I turn the speaker off, it goes away. So I'm not really sure why it's doing that. It probably has something to do with uh, capacitance and an inductor feedback, but um, I'm not going to fix it because it does pretty well as it is. So anyway, that's my project.